All right, so I got all the motors put on and um, just tested a little bit. It's not tuned by any stretch, but uh, I got a ton of cable management to do. As you see underneath there, it's just a complete mess down on the other end. So I've got quite a few little things to do, but I just wanted to show you that I do have this moving. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a demo and I'll let you see. And um, again, I'm not in, in it for the max speed. I'm mostly in it for accuracy. Um, but I'll just show you. It's moving pretty quick now, and I have, haven't really started to mess around with it yet. But let me get this keyboard out of the way, and I'll take a water. There's a Y axis moving back and forth. And uh, there you go with the Z. And then the X axis has uh, both motors, one on each side. So I don't have any of my limits put on yet, so I just got to keep an eye on what I'm doing here while I'm filming. There's two axes moving at the same time. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, just got to fine tune a little bit and get that motor on there, and um, or, I'm sorry, the, the router on there, and we'll see where it goes. All right, so there's going to have to be one improvement on this thing, at least uh, before I can really cut anything worth value. Um, I have four casters on here and they are locking casters. This helps me locate the machine to where it needs to go but unfortunately it doesn't really have a short footedness that is necessary. Um, even while locked they kind of wiggle around a little bit. They're just not built for this type of thing. So I'm going to have to devise a plan to build something whether they're using a little jack or something to lift up the machine and chalk it in place so to speak. I'll go ahead and jog the x-axis back and forth as quick as I can right now and uh, you'll probably be able to see it uh, racking a little bit. And again, it's not the actual machine itself, it's the casters basically um, wiggling in and out of uh, the play that's in them. So I don't know if that's picking that up on the video or not. You can might maybe see the monitor shaking back and forth like an earthquake. But, uh, you know, that, that's, I always thought that was going to happen. I might have even said something about that before, but uh, just to let you know that uh, the locking casters are not going to cut it for this. All right, so I guess the next question is where do I go to from here? I've still got quite a bit of work left until it's uh, complete. Um, namely, I don't have the router mount yet because we got to build that. I'm going to go over that. Um, but also, i got some other electrical stuff i got to do. Um, I had mentioned when I was testing it that I haven't put on any of my limit switches or homing switches yet, so still got to do all that. Uh, the wire that I'm going to use is actually CAT6 line, and it's shielded STP. Um, I have to mount my monitor, which I just kind of leave laying around the table, and um, which is all right because I'm using the internet out here to search stuff, and I figure out how to do half this stuff as I go. Um, I also purchased uh, new collets for the router. This is from Precise Bits. And uh, I have the Super PID module as well, so I can get a nice variable speed. Uh, the router that I'm going to be using on this project for now, at least, is going to be a Hitachi. And um, this is one that's kind of a rarity. They don't sell it anymore. Been using it for many years. Um, it's similar to the one that's out now, but it does not have any variable speed control on it to begin with. So um, it's a dedicated workhorse. So. You can see the dial was never even uh, cut into the uh, machine there. So I'm going to take this apart and probably get the super pit and all that stuff wired into it and do the collets at the same time. I also have a ton of cable management, which I showed you before, just computers and stuff laying all over the place down there, power supplies. Uh, i got to either bite the bullet and uh, purchase some E-chain or make a solution. And I've been trying to figure out how to go ahead and make something, but at this point in time, it might just be uh, more cost effective to buy something. And I am also contemplating going ahead and mounting everything in a big drawer that rolls out of the front here or the back side over there. I got lots of plexiglass laying around. Could probably do something pretty interesting with lighting and everything. So uh, just a couple of uh, design things going around my head, but I might just save that stuff for uh, once it's fully built because obviously I can take advantage of the CNC machine at that point in time. So. That's where we're going next, and it's probably just going to be the uh, router mount so I can actually get this thing to cut and then uh, build stuff.